Okay guys, J.H. Just going to do another video with the uh, the egg timer uh, uh, restriction. A little bit different guys. This is for guys that really want to like I'm an old dude. I'll be 77 this year. Later in the year. I'm fit. But I'm not flexible and I don't make much of a turn. I would love to do this. I'd love to get the golf club back there where Mr. X gets it back there. And I can physically do it, but I can't do it in the golf swing. Why? Because I haven't got a program for it. But when I do that, what's interesting there, you know, from a channel lock perspective point of view, what I do there, if I really shut that trail side down, really shut it down, flare that foot out, it just makes it so much... Now, what I feel there is drag here. Now, that's what's interesting. When you do these type of things, and you do them with not with the intention of hitting the goal, I can feel a lot of drag in my lead knee there, and that whole lead side, which is stopping me getting around. Now, I have to work out why that drag's there and how I can eliminate it to make a bigger turn. Look, if I put my foot together, my feet together like that, watch the turn I can get. What's that? 130 degrees? You know why? Because there's no drag on that lead leg. When it's out here, it drags, locks that pelvis up, and stops the torso turning and kills the shoulder turn and kills the arm travel. I don't know if I could hit a golf ball with a stance that narrow. Bobby Jones did. And Bobby Jones was long. They estimated his club head speed was about 115 miles an hour. And he can hit those old balls and old clubs 270 yards. Sometimes 300 yards. But Bobby did this. Bobby was, you know, both feet flared out. Um, really feet close together. And did this. Lifted his foot. And there was Bobby. He turned here. Because he wasn't flexible. He had a complete body turn. I'm not advocating that. But I'm just saying. Or just trying to. To work out how I can make a bigger backswing and not compromise my stability. As soon as I pull that foot in, have very narrow stance. Now, I haven't tried to hit a shot with a very narrow stance, but this will be very interesting because that is, for me, is inordinately narrow. So that foot out. Now, this is my channel lock. Perfect ball strike. What did I feel? I felt very unbalanced. I felt ungainly. I felt like I was going to fall over. And I backed out of it halfway back. But if I didn't, if I'd have done this, okay, that foot's come up, that knee's come across. I've never done that ever in my golf swing. Bobby Jones did it with every shot he ever played. Bobby Jones went here. Looked like the old ladies from the 1930s. That's what they used to do. Not the old ladies, but the people in that old era. But that's what Bobby did. Bobby went like that. Now, when I put my knee back there, it feels unbelievably free. The freedom's extraordinary. And guys, a practice tee, we're trying something. I'm going to try and uh, try and do that uh, full body turn with that really narrow stance. I caught it on the bottom of the club, but you wouldn't know it with the ball flight. It's taken nothing off it. And I caught it on the bottom of the club because I felt out of balance here and I stood up coming into the shot to, to regain my balance. That was, that's exactly the same place as all those other golf balls. So here we are. Very narrow stance, flare that trail foot out, sit into that trail hip. They don't move. None of those shots are moving. I mean, they're just not moving. And exactly what I'm aiming. And what do I feel like? I feel like an auger. And I'm probably not making anywhere near that amount of motion. This is even narrower, guys. Look how narrow that is. Inordinately narrow.
Well, it's always good on the JH practice tee because you get PBs. That's a PB. That's the best 500 I've ever hit. Never hit one as good as that since I've been on Channel Lock. That's the best. Swing feels really funny. But I feel freedom and I don't have any pull or, or sort of jagging in my groin, which I get sometimes, and in my my lead knee cartridge, a uh, cartridge, cartilage. I haven't got any of that. There's none of that there. That feels extraordinarily free. I mean, how, how narrow is that stance? That is just ridiculous. Ever so slight drag on that because I lost three yards. But only because, and that's a big drag for JH on channel lock because I've never hit a drag. But that wasn't channel lock as such. But the reason I, I, I lost that a little bit and did because the shoulder went out because I was fighting my balance. I'm just not used to it. But it's quite extraordinary. There's, there's no strain in my groin or my knee. And if I had my golf shoes on, I'd probably have balance. Flare that out, JH. Very narrow. Uh, we just have another PB. Best five iron ever hit on channel lock. I like this. Very, how, how narrow can I have a stance? See, the good thing about having the narrow stance, and the egg time I might run over here a little bit, but I think it's important. And talking about eggs, with the heat that's been here lately, I could have brought a couple of eggs out in the last couple of days, put them on a, uh, a shovel here, and they would have you know, been fried in two minutes. It's just been extraordinary. Wouldn't have need the egg timer. They just would have just fried themselves. But this is extraordinary here, guys, look. I mean, that, that's ridiculously narrow. Turn that out. But what the point is going to make is the narrow I get it. Look what happens here, guys, look. When I'm out here, where's the weight going? Where's the weight going? Where's the weight going? Where's the weight going? Bring it in. Where's the weight going? Where's the weight going? Where's the weight going? Goes this way. Goes into the trail axis. In Australia, we go... There's always a funny gesture in Australia. They go, kidneys, kidneys supposed to mean brains, why they say kidneys, I've no idea. But guys, you think about that. Weight goes from there, goes to here. So it loads this trail axis. Feel very much like uh, like we're on that, just that, that trail side there. And that is ridiculously narrow for me. Wish Mr. X was here. He could um, try this. Just get that foot out. Foot just slipped with no spikes on guys and got that little bit Russian shot, a little bit Fatovsky, but took nothing off it. Well, maybe took you know, three yards off it. Yeah, because you just tend to fall into the ball with no spikes on the wet grass. Come on, Chase, get get really, really narrow and see what you can do. This this is a breakthrough, guys. This is absolutely a breakthrough. PB. That's a PB. Remember this day, guys. We just keep hitting PBs. I don't know what it looks like. Feels free. Feels free. No pain in my groin. I've always had, you know, from my old football days and motorcycle racing, you know, a couple of accidents, you know, the foot's out and it jams up and I've always got a lot of scar tissue in torn groin muscles. Um, and I've always got a sore groin when I practice. No problem now, none. Oh, it's beautiful, it's a nice, light cool. This is the coolest it's been for two months. Beautiful, beautiful right now. I may never go home, watch this. This could be the best golf swing I've ever put on a golf ball.
if you looked in the dictionary under it's almost a Goldwinism isn't it say so look in the dictionary for for a picture Samuel Goldwin used to say that all those Goldwinism remember when he said he used to destroy the English language remember that famous line of his when they asked him back in the 40s uh, about colour television and he said bah bah I'll believe it when I see it in black and white <laughs> that's Goldwinism well that that there guys if, if there was a picture in a dictionary that could be the best ball flight picture of JH's channel lock uh, evolution look at this look watch this look how slow I'm swinging turn that foot out Where's my weight? Right here. Has anyone ever hit five PBs in a row with a golf club? This just keep getting better. And that might be a slight exaggeration. I reckon that one was exactly the same as the last one, which was a PB. So it was a dual PB. But you've got to say, guys, this, this is a different looking golf swing, isn't it? This has got to be a different looking golf swing. See, that's right on top of the other ball, but I jumped at that because I lost my balance a little bit on the back swing and I just flinched a little bit to regain my balance. It's a perfect golf shot. Okay. Come on, James. Bobby Jones. There's no movement on the golf ball, guys. There's none. There's no movement on those golf balls. None. I mean, none. Oh, again, JH exaggeration. There's a left to right wind here. As it goes out and loses the puff, it just goes to the right. Two yards. But that's the wind. That's got nothing to do with. But if someone was out there and they say, you just said there's no movement. It is. It's just falling to the right. It's just going. But that's the wind. Look at the flags. It's out there. But guys, I'm getting no draw. I'm getting nothing. And how good's the tempo? How good is JH's tempo for JH? He usually has a tempo like a uh, piano string breaking. Piano wire. Watch this, guys. Gosh, it's just... Ha! Oh. This could be a long video, so I don't want to stop doing this. I don't want to stop doing this. I'm going to get brink of disaster, which I always do when I try something. I'm going to get the feet as close together as I can possibly get them. Look how, 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 how close together are they? You feel the weight going straight down there, guys. Guys, I'm going to have to go off camera and just sit down because I'm a little bit overwhelmed here. This is quite amazing. My heart is like that. They're the best golf shots I've ever hit in my life. That's the easiest my golf swing has felt for 20 years. I've no, no stretch in that at all. Fantastic. All this stuff comes to me in the gym when I'm under pain. I'm looking up. Just amazing. One more. One more. Okay, JH. You've done PBs, do this is the PB of of the PBs. Turn that foot right out. Guys, I've got the swing. I've got channel lock. I've got channel lock. This is almost a finished product. Okay guys, I'm gonna sit down and just uh, get the blood pressure down and just calm down a little bit. I've got to think about what's happening here. I'll come back and I'll come up with the, what I've uh, deduced as, uh, as what's happening here because I've no idea what's happening other than seeing that ball flight. I'll be back, as Arnold says. That's probably, that's boiled a few eggs that time, a little bit over the egg timer. 